this is going to be a quick video today guys looking at e-bike frames which is the right e-bike frame for you and uh, some tips to look out for when you're buying your own e-bike frame when starting an e-bike build you're going to want to think what type of bike are you going to need is it going to be for the roads is it going to be for off-road so you're going to have to think primarily what are you going to be using it for For me, I'm gonna primarily be using my bike off-road, so I needed something along the lines of a mountain bike um, or an enduro bike, something like that, what's gonna be um, all right off-road on the trails, um, taking bumps, uh, jumps, and all that good stuff. I also knew that it wasn't gonna be a mid-drive motor on the frame. It was gonna be a hub motor in the wheel, so that was one less thing for me to worry about. And that brings up the next question, where do you mount your batteries, your controllers, all that good stuff. Um, so I first started on a mountain bike with a rear rack, what held the battery in place. Um, although it did the job, what, what it actually did was made the bike heavy at the rear uh, and made it not good for riding on trails, it, it threw the bike off balance. Uh, there is different ways of mounting your controllers and your batteries and things like that you can put them in in, your, in between your frames so the center of gravity is better um, it's better for the weight and the, there is different ways of doing it but for me none of them look good um, so I was looking for a different kind of frame and I come across these types of frames enduro frames what are purpose built they hold your battery inside your controller inside or you can mount your controller underneath the body of the bike and so that's what I looked at and primarily these types of frames ended up being the most easy to get hold of for the right price, uh, relatively cheap, uh, under a couple of hundred quid. Um, so that's what I did, I ended up buying one of these, got it imported from China and this was it. Um, as you can see your controller is mounted on the bottom and you've got a charging port on the side as well. Your swing arm just mounts to the back. And although this was my first e-bike uh, I built, it was a bit of a Frankenstein bike, um, but it did the job, I had a lot of fun on it, but it just didn't look right, and that's this is the bike now, what I've progressed to make. Um, and that is what is going to cost you your most money when you're building an e-bike. A lot of people think it's going to be your battery, it's actually going to be buying things twice, buying the wrong items not happy with how your bike looks rebuying items and that kind of thing especially when you're buying a hub motor for the back with a wheel you've got to get the right sizes for the right size tires so it all matches all the way through and that's what ends up costing you the most money redoing things so hopefully with these videos they're going to help people to buy the, the right thing the first time round but is there a downside to these um, purpose-built e-bike frames and unfortunately there is compared to a mountain bike and that's the weight so they're a lot heavier so what do you do to counteract that problem you put a bigger hub motor on so i would recommend with these frames a minimum of a 1500 watt hub motor so out of the two e-bike frames that i've owned which is this black one uh, and the one you'll see next is the white one. The two they were the two most popular frames at the time, uh, what, which were easier to get easier to get hold of and for the right price, basically. Um, but the, there are a couple of main differences with them. Um, is this white one I've got now is it's a steel frame bike with plastic um, on the outside, plastic side panels, um, which keeps the weight down uh, quite a lot. And the black one which I'll put on now is all steel. Um, even the side panel um, that you can see here, the side panel which is held on by Allen bolts. The side panel is actually plate steel um, and it's held on by Allen bolts. So if you want to get in there, you're going to have to take an Allen key with you. Um, whereas the one I'm using now is thumb turn screws um, on a plastic side panel, which is really easy um, to get into. If you're out and about, you want to check on stuff, you could be in the middle of nowhere. Really simple for getting there. And like I said, that's plastic. These side panels are plastic, the tops are plastic. Where the seat post is mounted to, 
Um, like the back there, that is actually steel. So, but all the the body frame is is actually steel framed with plastic on the outside. And another major major thing, which is a big plus point to this frame, is there's extra mounting points for your rear shock. So, if you've got a smaller rear shock, you're going to find a mounting place on this um, for your bike. Whereas the black one doesn't have that. Another plus point to this frame is the headset. When I got this, it was already pressed in, you didn't have to do anything. But on the black one, the first one, it's not, you've got to press it in yourself. And if you've never done it, it's difficult to press in a headset. So that being said, guys, this frame, it's better for access, easier access. Um, it's steel frame, which makes it super strong, but plastic panels keeps it light. You've got extra mounts for your rear shocks uh, and your headsets are already pressed in. And after owning them both guys, I'd say this is a superior frame to the other one. If anyone's interested in uh, trying to find a frame like this, I'll, go, I'll put a link in the description of where you can get this frame from. Um, it's the EEB frame. And uh, the link I'm gonna put in it is gonna be imported from China. So if you're concerned about um, charges at customs, um, just be aware of that, you may, there may be a 20 to £30 probably charge and gain it into the country depending on where you are in the world. So if you found this video informative guys, please smash the like and subscribe button. I have got other videos coming out with more tips of building your e-bikes so or keep your eye open for that. And I'll see you in the next one.